Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am up in one of my favorite locations this morning, uh, doing some birding. As you can probably hear, there are a ton of birds out here. And really, it's just going to be finding them today that is, uh, you know, spotting them in the trees. They're really hard to, they're really hard to see this time of year. You got a lot of yellows up there and a lot of the birds are actually yellow, so. So yeah, anyway, I'm really excited to be out. It's a beautiful day. And uh, I'm hoping we can get some birds. I already got a few shots of a robin. So that was really cool. But um, we're just gonna hike through here. And I might even post up, if I see some birds, I might post up somewhere and just stay quiet for a while and see if I can just blend on in and um, get some shots of some birds. We'll see what we can do here, guys. I'm on the wrong trail here. And that right there is stinging nettle. And you do not want to get into that. Let me show you guys real quick what it looks like. That'll make you sting an itch like no tomorrow. Nasty stuff, that stinging nettle. So I've, I've I've heard a ton of birds, but I haven't seen that many yet. Oh, there's a duck right in front of me, and he saw me, and he's floating down the river. She, I should say. Darn it. Yeah, she's heading down the river now. I got really close to her before she noticed me though. <laughs> it's crazy. This is such a beautiful area. This creek is uh, good fishing. And just a beauty to look at. Unbelievable, this area. This is, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I might have, I might not have. This is where um, the Cooper Hawk nest is. basically the same area so I did bring the blind and I might hunker down and do some blind work with the hawks we'll just we'll have to see I'm kind of having fun walking around um, exploring I saw a woodpecker right when I pulled off the road to this spot so I know they're around here I would love to get some shots of the woodpecker there's a lot of dead trees around here so there's woodpeckers for sure so I just um, was able to make a couple photos of a western tanager. I don't know if they turned out any good or not. Um, I'll show you guys the back of the screen. 
I got a couple others. It's really nice though. I really like it. Um, I'd zoom in for you guys, but I only have two hands, so. I decided to stop for a minute. I'm gonna hunker down right behind me. See that little black dot? That's a dead tree. And that's a good size hole in the tree. I've had my my eyes on that for a while. It looks like a really good nesting hole for some birds, some kind of bird. I mean, there's many birds that will take over old holes and use them as nests. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick back here, have myself a cup of coffee, and just keep my eye on that. And I'll show you what it looks like uh, up close, a little, a little more up close, but I do, I think I want to kick back here and just see if I can see any birds coming in and out of there. I'm going to zoom in there. There's the hole in it. Perfect hole for a nest. So we'll just hang out. And I'm just going to see if I can see any movement or maybe a bird coming in and out. Definitely kind of time for a cup of gel, for sure. That's so good. Oh, nothing like a good cup of coffee. I was just thinking there might be a flaw in my theory. That might be a little too low. It's only about 10 to 12 feet high, the hole. So. It may not be something that they're going to want to nest in. Didn't really think about that. It's a little low, but I'm still going to kick it here for at least a good 20 minutes and just keep my eye on it. See. So I'm back on the move. I didn't see any activity at that hole in the tree. So I decided just to uh, keep on moving. I heard some ducks. So I'm coming over to the river quietly. Slowly. So what I'm finding is the slower I move, and I'm talking baby steps, like two, three steps and then stop. I seem to be finding a bit more birds that way. Some of these birds are so tiny, I don't even know what they are. I'm going to have to try to look them up. I'm really happy with that uh, western tanager shot that I got. Um, so, I mean, I've already made a really nice photo today. But I'm hoping to get a little bit more. I haven't even walked down towards the hawk nest yet. I plan on doing that. But I'm really just taking my time. There's so many birds out here. They are just so hard to see. You know, I guess maybe I expected it when I came in uh, to wildlife photography, which is recently. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be so difficult, but it really is. Um, it's tough. It is tough to get nice shots of these little birds. 
was not easy. <laughs> but it's so much fun. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of my new addictions, that's for sure. So we're coming up on the uh, Cooper's Hawk Nest, Clyde and Mary Jane. Let's see what's going on with these two. And it's a perfect day to be out, guys. I know I keep saying it, but it's really incredible out here. There's so much uh, foliage now with the trees coming in. It's pretty hard to get a good angle on that nest, but I decided since uh, I don't even see Mary Jane up at all, she's probably hunkered in the nest there. I'm just gonna keep walking on because I've never explored this, you know, east of the nest. So I'm going to go east of the nest and keep looking for smaller birds to make photos of. So yeah, I haven't been up this way, so this is quite interesting. A little bit new area. I'll check it out and see what we got. Why not? So, <clears throat> I found this trail going off from the main trail, decided to follow it, and at the end of it was a little campfire and a little metal chair that I'm utilizing to rest my back. Yeah, I injured my back um, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and it's still kind of giving me some some troubles, but what a beautiful spot this is. I was really happy to find uh, the chair, and I got these beautiful flowers here with a lot of different bugs cruising around, and it just so happened as I was sitting here, a beautiful dragonfly came up and landed on one of the uh, little weeds right here by the flowers. Um, I'll show you guys the shot that I got on the back of the camera. I'm excited about it. It's a beautiful shot. So yeah, the body's a little out there, but I took plenty of shots. So that's pretty much the full body. There's a full body shot. And then I really like the portraits um, quite a bit. It's these, some of these first ones are really darn sharp. That is fantastic. So, I am just super excited about this dragonfly that I got. Super excited. Well, everyone, I'm going to call it a day. It, uh, was a wonderful day. Got some beautiful shots. Um, I'll be coming back out here definitely again. So worth it. So if you guys haven't subbed up yet, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you can uh, be notified when I update my next video. Really uh, nice day, guys. I appreciate you all coming along. Have a good one. See you guys next time.